Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. Guys, I am Manjit Rao, your online instructor. So this is another video of VMware virtualization series. And uh, in this video, I'm going to describe you about how you can install, how we can create a virtual machine in our ESXi. Because in our last session, we discussed about the installation procedure, means how we can install ESXi host over our VMware workstation. Now, this time, I'm going to show you how you can create a virtual machine under the ESXi and also we'll discuss about how to install the operating system to uh, our ESXi virtual machine, right? So this is our agenda. Let me uh, connect our ESXi first. So as we know that we are working over our ESXi 7.0, so we will discuss each and everything, each and every activity related to the ESXi 7.0 as well. So, uh, one more important thing, uh, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so you can subscribe my Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel because Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel is a single YouTube channel that gives you 100% live practical without any gap or without skipping any uh, step. So if you want to be a perfect, uh, if you want to be expert in virtualization, cloud computing or server operating system, so I have already created multiple list, playlist related to different, different technologies. So you just need to uh, click on the playlist and find the playlist as per your requirement. So now I'm just going to turn on our ESXi 7.0 and we will access with the help of web client and after that discuss about how to create the virtual machine under the ESXi. Okay. As we know that after 6.0, 6.5, uh, 6.0 update, we are able to access our ESXi with the help of web client only. So we have already discussed about the way to connect our ESXi. We have a vSphere client, we have a web client, putty terminal, DCUI. So n number of options are available to make a connection to access our ESXi host. But this time uh, we need to understand about the option which is uh, available in web client only because we want to manage entire services with the help of GUI. So that's why we must need to connect using the web client or vSphere client. So we are using 7.0, so that's why we are unable to access our 7.0 ESXi with the help of vSphere. So that's why we need to connect with the help of web client only. I give you the complete information. I'm using 7.5 gig of memory, RAM capacity for this ESXi and about the storage, I think, uh, we installed ESXi using 60 gig of hard drive. Now we are, we are getting a one IP address, which is provided my Wi-Fi router, means you, you we are getting IP address from dynamically, means with the help of DSCP service, 192.168.1.8. I'm going to access the same machine, same IP address over a browser, 1.8. Okay, we don't have any SSL certificate, so that's why I need to proceed with the unsafe. And uh, by default username, as we know that you must need to use root and provide the password that you used while installation of uh, ESXi host. Now we successfully open our virtual machine. We are we successfully open our uh, ESXi panel in GUI format using the base, web client. And now I'm going to show you how you can create the virtual machine. It's really simple step that you need to use, but uh, uh, we need to uh, add few things like as a, we must need to add at least one storage because currently we don't have any storage. We are unable to find any storage services. So now if you plan to create virtual machine, what you need to do, just need to click on virtual machine, click, uh, create and register. Select, we have a three different way to create our VM. You could proceed with new virtual machine. Create your VM with the help of OVF or OVA virtual file. It's a kind of template. You can say that OVA and OBF both are uh, types of templates. We will discuss more about it. Register an existing virtual machine. So we don't have any other ESXi. We are not using any kind of shared storage. So that's why we are unable to use the register existing virtual machine. Uh, further, we'll discuss about how we can create uh, how we can create our virtual machine with the help of register existing virtual machine. Now, this time we are able to create only one, uh, we are able to create our virtual machine only with the help of new virtual machine, create new virtual machine. Next, type the name of your VM. So I want to create a virtual machine with Windows 10 operating system, decide the guest operating system type. So we must need to proceed with Windows. 
and select the operating system type you want to install windows 10 operating system 64 bit so that's why i'm going to select this is the template it cannot give you the any any kind of iso image it's a, just a template which is decide the configuration of your virtual machine and unfortunately in 7.0 see we are unable to find any storage and without the storage we are unable to create any virtual machine so it's mandatory you must need to add at least one storage so as you know that we have a two different way to add a storage in our esxi one is a local storage company never use the local storage to create our virtual machine always in production environment you must need to use the shared storage it may be more than one shared storage uh, you must need to configure with your ESXi but this is our day 3 this is our uh, session 3 so that's why I am going to create a virtual machine with the help of local storage so you can follow the same step to configure uh, uh, local storage in your ESXi environment so as we know that we install our ESXi over a VMware workstation so you need to open the virtual machines property from workstation not from ESXi okay open the virtual machines property from uh, workstation click setting under the setting you know that we have option to click add and uh, configure one more hard drive just attach one more hard drive this is local uh, storage you can say that so I want to add a 50 gig of hard drive and by using this 50 gig of hard drive we will create the virtual machine right because currently we don't have any storage we don't have any local RCR storage so you must need to add manually virtual hard drive to create a virtual machine fine fine so uh, I think maybe it may be required to restart our ESXi host let me try to check it if we are able to find our storage account so then okay otherwise we need to restart because it will take time to uh, highlight our uh, virtual hard drive in our ESXi panel I'm going to click on new data store vmfs because we are using the local storage so that's why i need to proceed with vmss vmfs we haven't any space we don't have any storage account we don't have any storage data center which is connected with esxi so what you need to do you need to back uh, just need to uh, uh, restart your esxi because we successfully added 150 gig of hard drive but unfortunately we are unable to get the information in the gui panel so what you need to do, you just need to restart your ESXi and try to access your web client again and try to connect your uh, local storage, right? Now we are we need to know about the concept of local storage, but after that we will discuss about uh, uh, how we can configure the shared storage because it's really important uh, to be a, a expert uh, if you want to be an expert in uh, uh, virtualization. So. I think uh, shared storage is, is the backbone of our environment because in future when we discuss about uh, uh, HA and DRS concept or uh, uh, try to understand about the fault tolerance or migration activity so uh, these services must need to m these services needed to establish your virtual machine in uh, uh, shared storage only because you are unable to configure HA and DRS if you, cre if you created your virtual machine under the local storage so that's why we must need to use the shared storage while creating the virtual machines so now this is a third class the, this, this is a th session third so that's why I'm going to use the local storage but in future definitely we will add our shared storage now we successfully turn or restarted our ESXi host let me reconnect our web client and try to access our local storage not share storage fine we successfully log in still we are unable to find any storage which is available in our ESXi so what you need to do just need to click on new database create VMFS and here we are able to find one 50 gig of hard drive connected with your ESXi host so what you need to do just need to type the name of your local storage local storage one okay click next I want to utilize entire 50 gig of space because we will create a multiple virtual machine so that's why we need to uh, we need to use the entire space in our local storage see we are able to find one data storage which is available in our data storage part now back to the virtual machine and <clears throat> click create select the first option next and uh, type the virtual machine name windows 10 select types of platform so yes definitely we want to use we want to install a windows based virtual machine so that's why i need to select the windows uh, platform next complete space which is available in our uh, local storage 
click next and decide how much you want to provide to your ESXi hole how much space you want to provide to your virtual machine means Windows 10 virtual machine so we have a total 58 48 gig of space but I don't want to use the entire space just want to configure only 20 gig of space right and we have a three important services it's really important thin provision thick provision lazy and uh, thick provision eagerly so you should know about the actual difference between these three uh, important uh, storage type you can say that it's a kind of uh, disk provisioning so you should know about the meaning of these three important options so let me explain you with the help of diagram uh, it's really important for every um, it's really important for every VMware engineer. So you should know because in case of real environment, when you configure the uh, disk for your virtual machine, you must need to know about how many way we have to provide the virtual machine, how many way we have to provide the virtual disk to our virtual machine. Disk for VM, okay? So we have a three different way. We are planning to create a ESXi, we are planning to create a Windows 10 computer, right? This is our Windows 10 virtual machine that we are planning to install in our ESXi. And for example, we have a total space. How much space we have? 48 GB, right? It's a local storage. It may be a local, it may be a shared storage, not an issue. So currently we are using local storage. Now talk about uh, how you can assign the storage, how we can, how, how we can install, assign the space to our virtual machine. So while assigning, we have a three different way. One is thin provision, right? The one is, uh, let me, one minute, please. Okay, thin provision. Second one is thick provision, lazy, right? And last one is thick provision, eagerly. Talk about the meaning of these three important options. Currently, total space which is available in data storage is 48. I want to provide only 20 gig, right? So we decided to provide a 20 gig space for our Windows 10 computer, Windows 10 virtual machine. If you proceed with Windows, uh, if you proceed with thin provision, it means that you select a 20 gig space from entire storage, but after installation of Windows 10 operating system, you just consume only 12 gig space. Means from uh, 20 gig, you consume only. 12 gig space you have a 8 gig remaining space available so you can utilize this remaining 8 gig space with another virtual machine got it so thin provision can consume the space as per the data that you uploaded in your virtual machine is it clear it cannot occupy the entire space that you provided if we talk about thick provision lazy in case of lazy whenever you provide 20 gig of space it automatically occupy the entire 20 gig space from your storage it consumes the entire space. Although you haven't installed any operating system, you haven't uploaded any file, you lost your 20 gig space. Second important part, lazy is slow in compare of uh, eagerly and uh, eagerly and uh, thin provision. It cannot support the migration. It cannot support the HA as well. Means if you created your virtual machine with the help of thick, uh, thick lazy, you don't have option to configure the HA high availability for this particular virtual machine. Thin provision, uh, in case of thick provision, eagerly, it also works like as a thick provision. Means it will be consumed the entire space from your local storage or shared storage, but it is faster than thick uh, lazy and it support the migration. And uh, you can say that uh, it can support the migration and it can support the HA as well, right? It, 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 it support the all types of uh, services means uh, thin and thick can support the migration and HA. So I hope you understand about the difference between thick, lazy, thin and thick, lazy and eagerly. Now back to the uh, our web page. I'm going to create this VM by choosing the option of thin provision because I we want to uh, uh, we want to uh, utilize our space with multiple virtual machines so that's why I'm going to proceed with thin provision okay next no need to do anything just need to click finish within second we are able to create our virtual machine but unfortunately we don't have any operating system we haven't installed any OS this is our blank operating blank virtual machine means now I'm just going to turn on it it will, 
inform you you don't have an operating system so you need to provide the at least one operating system means we need to install one operating system to do this particular virtual machine okay not an issue right click on vm and console i want to open it to new wizard but unfortunately you know that we don't have any operating system so what you need to do you need to boot your operating system you need to boot your virtual machine from uh, any database file or you can also use the external storage external device so what you need to do just need to click action go to the edit option and under the edit option you will be find the option related to the ISO select CD DVD and you must need to proceed with data store ISO select and uh, unfortunately we don't have we don't have any ISO image so what you need to do you need to upload at least one ISO image uh, in our local storage so I'm just going to upload it from uh, my external storage let me connect my external hard drive Just give me one minute, please. Still, we are able to access our hard drive, external hard drive. Let me click it again on upload. And I'm going to select software because I uploaded entire ISO image in our software folder, software drive, not folder. And select uh, OS image which operating system you want to install so I'm planning to install any operating system like I'm going to proceed with Windows 7 not an issue because it's just the 2.7 gig of storage now you have to need to uh, you, you need to wait up to uh, maybe uh, it's depend upon the configuration so it may be take up to five to seven minutes and once our ISO image installs uh, uploaded successfully in this particular uh, panel we will install it so we just need to wait wait for 100% completion and after that we'll show you how we can select the operating system image so I'm going to pause the video and after that we'll start again fine so we successfully uploaded our uh, ISO image operating of operating system you just need to uh, select the ISO image let me explain you again because it's really difficult to identify how you can provide the operating system to our ES to our virtual machine so just back to our virtual machine and click edit setting and we just need to click on CD and DVD select data storage ISO file so we have already uploaded a one ISO image of Windows 7 operating system need to provide the information need to provide need to select your uh, operating system and click save back to the virtual machine and restart it again Okay, it will take time to uh, um, um, uh, get the information about ISO image. We just need to wait one minute. Okay, so our virtual machine successfully selected the ISO image and you need to follow the basic step to install operating system in your, our uh, virtual machine that we created on ESXi. So guys, I hope you all of you understand about the step to install virtual machine and adding uh, local storage to our ESXi host. Next, 
once we install our virtual machine successfully we will move ourselves to next topic like as how we can install VMware tools creating a snapshot for virtual machine and we'll discuss about the files means because you know that whenever we create virtual machine automatically VMware create a multiple file so we will discuss about each and every file which is available in our storage so uh, that's it guys so please uh, perform the task and we'll connect in next session and discuss more about uh, VMware vSphere 7.0 series. Okay, everyone. So take care. Bye-bye. If you have any suggestion, please drop a comment. Definitely will reply your comment. And please subscribe and share my YouTube channel. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.